Hello Aquarius! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, the Lima Tarot, uh, artwork by Renata Lechter, Lechner, hopefully that focuses if you want to see the spelling. There is a website at the bottom, Los Garabo, I believe, dot com. And there's the Facebook information, if I can hold it still. Support of Oracle Cards. You are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. Website rockpoolpublishing.com.au as an Apple, use an umbrella. All right. What do we have for Aquarius? That's interesting. Okay. Things are changing. This is interesting. Um, ultimately, ultimately it's good. Yeah. Um, there's, okay, so sometimes when I see Kathumi, I think of the world card. You also did have the world card coming in. Something is changing here. Um, this situation is very important to you if this is going to be hitting. Even though it's very important, I wouldn't say it was, it wasn't, it's not working the way you want it to. Um, it's got a lot of problems, a lot of problems, um, a lot of problems. So it could easily be work. I feel like for a lot of you, this could be a family connection, a certain person in your family, um, could be work very easily. But the thing is, there's a big change coming in. Um. When this first comes in, I don't know. See, because I'm seeing where this is coming from. There's a lot here that I love, but it never works out right. That I, I keep getting that kind of feeling from it. When I see this card, there's two, there's two cups up, which kind of makes me think, like, part of this I really do love. But these three cups down is saying... It's always a challenge. It's always difficult, but I do. There's, I'm not willing to give it up, even though it's a challenge. I don't want it to disappear, um, and it just never can be. I, for some reason, I can never get it to go the way I want it to. It just, it just never goes where I want it to. I can get it closer, and it never stays there for long. It's always changing, but it never. Like if it's going to get stagnant, it never stagnates where I want it to. That's for sure. When things start happening, it happens very fast. There's a quick change. Things happen very, very fast. Um, I don't sugarcoat. I just, I'm not that one. You're, you're just not going to like it. Um, I, don't, I don't know how else to put it. Um, even though I don't like it, I can't stop it. Other people are making decisions. Somebody seems to be cutting out on responsibilities, and I feel like you immediately go, that's not going to work, you can't do that. And they're like, well, watch what I can't do, I'm going to do what I can't do right now. Um, they don't seem to be... The reason you would say they can't do it is kind of like, there's going to be nasty repercussions from that. That's why you can't do it. Uh, like, you know... <laughs> you can't go flying down the highway at you know, 90 miles an hour and expect that to go okay. And they're like, well, watch me. I'm going to do it. And you're like, no, uh, you're, I mean, I can understand they're going to go 90 miles an hour, but I don't think it's going to go okay. Um, the, yeah. It's happening fast. Aquarius tends to be very smart. And you can see why they shouldn't be doing what they're about to do. And I feel like you can even explain to them, tell them, but when they're not, they're not absorbing your words. You can yell at them, scream at them. They can physically hear what you're saying. But if they're not absorbing it mentally, you can make the easiest, most blatant point. You go 90, you will probably get into an accident. And they'll be like, right, probably. 
All right, let me say it differently. You go 90, you will get into an accident. You said probably. Okay, listen. Like, it, I just feel like they, they're, they're, hear, they're hearing what they want to hear, not what you're saying. Part of, the, part of the pain of this situation is some of you might get into this mental trap. How could I have said it to make a difference? They weren't hearing you, though. You know what I mean? They weren't, like, you, I feel like a lot of you, I just feel like a lot of you are going to do that. Like, well, how should I have said that? What could I have said differently? What could I have done differently? I feel like this is somebody who, have, they made their own decision. Whatever happened here, at this point, this wasn't your responsibility. You did your best. You put the information out there. They made their decision. But I keep getting, like, I keep feeling like some of you are going to play that game with yourself, which I understand, but... They're saying let that go and let's move towards the future in the sense of like that wasn't your responsibility to make that. You gave information, you tried. Like, you know, you try to tell somebody not to do something because it's going to have a dastardly, horrible outcome. You, you gave the information the best way you could. They just were, they were just doing that. No, no, not hearing you. Don't want to. The wheel turns and there's no getting out of it. Um, whatever they're doing, they're doing. And it's kind of like you were right. You can't go down that street 90 miles an hour and expect it to be okay. They did it anyway, and they got into a nasty accident is what's going to happen. It's like you knew. You didn't know the specifics, but you knew that wasn't going to go well. But I feel like Aquarius would say, well, obviously that wasn't going to go well. <laughs> obviously, obviously that wasn't going to work. Um, the situation happens. The wheel turns. There's no getting out of it. Um, even with the Eight of Swords, I know that that's a trap card in the sense of, like, there's a way to get out of it. You can free yourself emotionally, maybe, mentally, emotionally, um, but the situation is still going to play out because it's kind of like, it's kind of like, once you drive off the cliff, you're going to hit the bottom. And when this, it's kind of like, when the wheel turns, it's like it's in mid-turn. When that car is in mid-air and it's going towards the bottom of the ravine, it's just, once it starts, it's just going to finish out. That's the point I'm making there. Um... That's what I'm getting with this. That's 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 what I'm getting with this. Um, this other person, they get the Ten of Swords. That's very, very harsh. That's that's devastation. Uh, it's a very harsh. I don't know. It's a general read. I can, there's a lot of things that could happen here, but it's a very harsh outcome. Very harsh. And I get, like, you're going to know. I just feel like it's, there's nothing you could do. This person, for everything you knew, there was ten things you didn't. That's what I keep getting. Um, it's like, you knew what you knew, but and you knew something was wrong. But they, this person, I don't know, there's a lot of other things going on here. A lot of other factors. When I get those ten swords, what you knew was only a fraction. Like, the, the tip of the iceberg of what was really going on there. You probably knew there was more going on there, but didn't know exactly what was going on there. It might be one of those things for whatever reason. Um, after the fact, I feel like you're doing what you can to help the situation, to try to make it better. I see you helping it and trying to help it. There seems to be a limited amount of connection you can have with it. Um, that Nine of Swords with the integrity is kind of like, I feel like the integrity is you trying to help. The Nine of Swords is like, there's only so much you can do and there's a lot of stress. Like, I want this to improve. I want this to go better. But it's like if somebody got in that car accident and maybe you're a CEO for some type of major um, distribution chain, you're not a doctor. You can't fix their broken leg. You have to have somebody else do that. You just you don't you don't have the backing. You don't have their schooling to do that. You don't know how to do that correctly. Long term, um, <laughs> and they have more than a broken leg, by the way. It's kind of like you can't you can't just automatically, you know, fix their internal organs that they broke. You can't do it. Other people have to do it. There's only so much you can do. You're offering a lot of help here, is what I'm getting, which is not bad. Um, there's a lot of stress here. I feel like you're owning more than you should, just to be fair. If that's what I keep getting. Uh, you care. 
this really means a lot to you. This person or whatever's going on here means a lot to you. This means a lot to you, and that's why. I feel like you're owning more than you should. Whoever it was, this other person made their decision. You did try to help. You have been trying to help is what I keep getting. And then I, I feel like it's hard for you to like step back and realize the decision they made was not your fault. For some reason, I keep getting people going through it, rehashing it, trying to think of how I should have said it differently. What else could I have done? What can I do now? I just feel like I want control of it so it can get better. I want this to go better, and I want control of it so it can go better, and I just it's not offered. It's just not going to happen. Take it with a grain of salt. I feel like at this point you either know if this is hitting or not. The thing is, that's, that's kind of the catch-22 with Aquarius. You are extremely intelligent. Aquarians, the ones that I've known have been very smart. But the thing is, even though you're extremely intelligent, you, there's certain things you just have no control over. You know what I mean? The moon's going to go around the Earth. You can't control that. You can't make it go faster. You can't make it go slower. You can know what's there. You can know why it's there. You can know how fast it's going and why it goes that fast. But you can't change it, if you follow me. Um, there's going to be a point, a breaking point. Oh, There's a good ending. All right, well, there's good cards. We'll see what comes out of it. Stressful. I mean, I'm, I'm not a Sunshine Rainbows reader. I know that. So I'm just giving you what's coming out here. Um, the devil comes in with the Two of Swords. The situation will be out of your control. And whoever made their decision, whatever they did, they're going to have to rectify that themselves. So, for example, you can offer as much help as you want. If this person went 90 miles an hour down this road, got in a nasty car accident, and has a lot of healing to do, for them to truly heal completely or heal to a place where they can live life in a productive way again, they're going to have to do the physical therapy work. They're going to have to go through the surgeries. They're going to have to seek out their own healing to actually heal. You're not going to be able to heal for them. You know what I mean? You can try to give them ideas. You can try to take care of them. You can try to give them opportunity to rest. You can even try to find them the right doctors to help them go down the path that would make it easier for them. But if they're not responsive to you and they don't work with you, and I feel like they won't for some reason, because I get that devil card with two of swords, like, I want to help, but I'm being blocked. And there's a lot you can do here, but you're being blocked. Again, it's catch-22 for Aquarius. You can see the best way to do things to get the best outcome. You can see that great path, but if you won't, if they won't listen to you, that's the block card. Okay. The final two cards, let me just get some clarity on these. I mean, you know, I'm just one of those readers that whatever comes out, we go with it. I don't try to make it look better than it is. Um, and this does not look fun. Sorry. I mean, it's a general read. If it hasn't started hitting by now, it probably won't, so don't worry about it. I feel like those of you who are still watching are watching for a reason. You got the Hermit card coming in, with the Three of Swords half in, half out. The way this goes back in your favor is to pull back. Whoever this is in your life, and I'm getting this as a person, I guess it could be situational, you know what you're dealing with. The only way this goes in your favor, and it should seems like it will at some point, is you have to pull back you have to wait for that energy to come towards you. When you go towards it, it just, nope, 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 nope. It's just a whole bucket of nose, whole bucket of nose. But when you pull back and you just let it come towards you when it's ready, and when it does, I feel like you're going to realize, like, I, I gotta, it, especially in the beginning, I have to step carefully and you have to be like, all right, it's come, this, this person's finally coming towards me. What's most important that I get across to them? And how do I say it to where they'll actually absorb it? That's when this comes back your way. You have to pull back and let this energy come towards you before anything gets better. You know what to do. You've got the wisdom. Only when it seeks you out, will the balance be struck, will things actually work or start working better. I mean, I hope this is a good ending. Again, I, I, if the cards come out the way they come out, and I just, I read them as they come out, so. 
that's how that's how this one came out. <laughs> it's not a Sunshine Rainbows reader. I'm not, it's like not a Sunshine Rainbows reading, but I'm not really a Sunshine Rainbows reader. Whatever comes out, if it comes out Sunshine Rainbows, I'll be like, oh, you got Sunshine Rainbows. But I didn't get that here, so hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully for the people that's meant for, that's helpful. Anything else? All right, I'm gonna shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.